Have you ever been watching a rocket launch and seen these grid fins and thought, oh, those are, those are cool. Let me show you something. First off, check out just how insanely massive these are. They're so much bigger than you might think. Look at that. They're freaking huge. Yeah, those are grid fins on the Falcon 9. These aren't even Starship's grid fins, which are so much bigger, like three or four times bigger. So the Falcon 9 has a mechanism to deploy these. So on ascent, these actually lay completely flat against the fuselage, and then they deploy once it's in space to prepare for re-entry. Now Starship does not do that. They're just deciding to keep them deployed the entire time. Now you can tell these are the old aluminum style uh, grid fins because the surface here is completely flat. The newer titanium style ones have serrated teeth on the Block 5 booster, and that's to make it so it has more control authority during the transonic region between going from supersonic down to subsonic. The air flows just through them. They're not like huge drag brakes. They're actually you know, mostly completely invisible to the wind stream, but when they turn off angle to the airstream, then that's when they start to produce torque uh, and aerodynamic surface like that. So they only spin back and forth. They only go like this, and that's the only axes that it can rotate upon. So when you pair this with the one opposite of the booster, you can get you know, your pitch and pair this one with that one in the same way you'll get your, your yaw. And if you actually couple them and have them all rotating on, in the same direction, you'll get your roll. And then you use all of these to actually guide the booster right back down to the landing pad so it can be reused. And that's the beautiful, clever engineering of grid fins.